Hi everybody, it's Scarlet Pete here. Thanks for joining me again. I thought I'd share with you what I'm up to at the moment. I've recently started doing pyrography and I'm really enjoying making things to sell for people and uh, I've got some music shops that ask me to make items for them. I've got one-off commissions. I've got items for friends and I thought I'd just share with you what I'm doing to make a few pennies to help us and support us in our little life. So um, let me just show you what we've got here. We've got flower coasters to put under your tea and coffee. We've got little daisy hairbands. I've got soap bags that I crochet. I really enjoy making these. It's my own little pattern I've made up and the soap fits inside it and then look, I've even made these own little lovely uh, labels that I'm making. I've got some of the um, lip balm I made and well the spoons are going really really well and what else have I got? Oh we've got crochet and knitted fancy face flannels. We've got an exfoliating one there for fine use on the face. We've got a fancy flannel for washing with and then there's another really scrubby one there. I've uh, even been doing some felting, needle felting. That's a little rat. I don't know why I did a rat, but I did. And then here we have this amazing guy. I met this guy. I was in school with him many years ago. We were really, really friendly. We lost touch. The other day, through the power of Facebook, he found me. His name's Dylan, and he runs his own channel called Dilly Dragon Gaming. So he asked me to do this special piece for him. He's Welsh and his there's his channel dilly dragon gaming channel so i've given him a little card there to show what i've made for him and he wanted some wooden spoons so let me show you how i make them what i do is i get the blanks i can either get some very reasonably priced blanks or i can get some really special beechwood blanks depends what the customers want and then i've got a pyrograph machine here which basically is um a thing that heats up metal. Metal gets so hot that you can burn wood with it and this one uses electricity to do it. In the old days it used to be a red hot poker that they would use to burn the designs onto the onto the wood. Here's one for a little girl. Her name's Alia and Wu is her mom. So Wu's got her own little set there. Look. So let me show you this thing working. I'll clear the deck. First of all, we need to switch it on. And there's the tip, the end that does the burning. That will get really quite hot and red and glowing. But in the first place, you turn it down to switch it on. And then you slowly turn it to the plus to get the heat into the end. And it will probably start glowing. Let me just see if I can show that. And the humming you can hear is the electricity going through it. It's just starting to glow hot now. That's the working temperature I use. So this is now quite warm. Do not touch it. And I have found if it stops working, it um, it comes unscrewed as you use it. So I'm going to just put a gentle pattern around here. And you just touch it on. And I'm just going to put a round circle on. It's that easy. You've got to get used to um, consistent use because you need the line the same thickness. You don't want to burn too much and char it, but you do want to burn enough so that the pattern will stay on it. And that's what I'm doing there, just making that a good strong line. And there's a couple of bits there I've missed out, see? So now we've got a line all the way around. And I'll put a little dot at the top, a little dot at the bottom, and then I'll go around here, down the bottom. And what I would like to do is a paw print, because this is going to be a dog's dinner, book, dinner spoon. So, I see, I should have maybe had a think about this before doing it, but I'm going to do it live on camera now. So let's try and do the shape of a dog's paw paw pad. Would you say that's about it, Lily? Yeah. So there's the pad. And then how many pod, How many toes does the dog have? Isn't it three on the back and four on the front? So we'll go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty
two, three, four. So now what I'm going to do is actually burn that in and fill it in. There's a bit of smoke coming off. Make sure it doesn't set your fire alarm off. And I've not done a paw print one before, so this could be awful or it could work out quite nicely. You see, it goes quite quick. The larger the design, the quicker it goes. Now you don't want to press hard. Uh, you need to let the tool do the work. So there we are, that's the edge. So let's have a go now at doing the, the toe. Oh, there we go, look, see? Be careful not to breathe all of the smoke in, you know, be sensible. Maybe have a window open. Don't want anybody having an asthma attack from breathing it in. As I say, the fire alarms could go off as well. And I think I'll put that one a bit closer on that side. I bet you I've done too many toes on this. <sighs> Comments, please. If I've put too many toes on this, what do you think, people? Do you think I've put too many on this, love? Mm, I think it should have been five. Oh, now you tell me. I've not got <laughs> enough. And I think the toes should have been on the other side. What, down here? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Because the dent is similar to the back of a dog's paw. Well, it's a critic, aren't they? So now I'm just going to put some little patterns on. I'm not going to spend as long as I would normally do on this on the camera. I will tidy it up later. Um, I'm just going to put some patterns on it. Let's see. Because I can. Like that. Hmm, what should we do down here? What should we put on it? Dog food? Try it. Or paws. I don't know. Small, small paws. Hmm. Right, I'll carry on doing that. We don't want me rabbiting on forever, so we'll pause there. Still trying to correct the paw print. It's not great, but... There we go. We've got dogs written. So shall we write on it, dog spoon? dog's dinner or just leave it at dogs i don't know so you guys get the general idea there let me show you the top see that. next thing we're going to do is finish it off with a label now i've come up with a good way of making labels well, i think it's good so stay with me and i'll show you that a bit next so these are the labels i'm making they're just handwritten if you can see that is it going to zoom in and show you and all i'm using is some very cheap brown paper, a stamp to punch, punch holes out, sorry, punch, fold them up so I get a piece that's square, fold it in half, like that. We're going to punch out the bottom, make sure it's central. Then we're going to write our message on. And we always put on the bottom, it's made with love, because I love making these things for people. Then on the back, we just add the little message, wash prior to use, and it's food grade wood, food grade wood. And then I have my little bit saying, Scarlet made that, see? So I really hope you enjoyed my little video on my makes and my soap bags and the use of the pyrograph machine. I do hope you can come back soon and watch my next videos. Please like, subscribe and share be a devil let me know you're there by doing a comment and go check out dilly dragon gaming as well because they gave me a nice shout out so be nice for you guys to go check that if you're into gaming that is and if you want any of my lovely creations i'm making like my 100 percent fancy flannels look at this one 100 percent cotton give me a shout below and uh, i'm sure we can sort out postage to you I'm selling them for £7.50 each. I'm selling the scrubbies for £5.50 each.